Hi and welcome to What's In Me. Today we have a special request from a school, yes, a science class in particular, requesting an in-depth look at the digestive system. Here it says, we are studying a topic called All Systems Go, and we were wondering if you could give us an in-depth look at the digestive system telling us about the parts and the function of the system. All your wishes come true and we have Miss Sunshine who has just returned from her holidays. She went to a masquerade party and didn't get enough time to get ready. So don't worry but the information will be fine. It's just her face might look a bit muddled up. So without further ado, Miss Sunshine. Oh, hi everyone. Yes, I am Miss Sunshine. <laughs> I'm all bright and I'm all right. I just went to a masquerade party and didn't have time to get ready, so do you mind the mask? Just mind the information. Well, the digestive system is made up of lots of parts. Let me show you. It's made up of the mouth, the esophagus, the liver, which is the largest organ in the body, the stomach, the pancreas, gallbladder, the large intestine, which which surrounds, of course, the small intestine, the rectum, and the anus. Ew. Pause. Do you remember that apple that you had for lunch yesterday? Or even today? It was probably grinded and mushed in your mouth by your teeth and then mushed together even more so it's softened by your saliva and then gently pushed by your tongue into the esophagus. Mm. Yes, into the esophagus. Well, your food doesn't just drop down into your stomach with through the esophagus. There's a strange little thing that happens there and I call that, well, everyone calls it, Muscular contraction. Muscular contraction is when the esophagus slowly closes together to gently force, not gently force, but gently maneuver your food into the stomach. Yes. I totally forgot to tell you. You're wondering what the esophagus is. The esophagus is just a fancy name for the food pipe. When your food is dumped into your stomach, it's mixed with stomach acids and enzymes. And then the mush is slowly moved to the small intestine. And that's that little squiddy thing there. The small intestine. Yep, and that's where most of the digestion process begins or starts. Or actually, no, it doesn't. That's where the major part of the digestion pro digest I can't even talk to it. The digestion process begins. I totally forgot to tell you about one of the most important parts of the digestive system. The liver. The liver makes a bitter yellow green fluid called bile. And the digestive enzymes from the pancreas, which is this one right here, help release nutrients from your food so they can be absorbed and circulated around your body and in the blood streams. Mm. Oh, I just printed out a fact. Apparently, the blood brings fats, proteins, carbohydrates and sugars to the liver which helps make them into building blocks the body needs to work and grow. The liver also helps to remove harmful substances from the blood. Blimey, isn't that lovely? Uh -oh. hmm. okay. From the liver, what isn't needed, meaning waste, is moved into the large intestine. The large intestine is this one that wraps around the small intestine. Okay, right here. The large intestine removes water from the waste, and this is where feces are formed. This, then the rectum has the job of passing out what your body doesn't need through the anus. This is when you're urgent to go to the bathroom. Ha ha ha. I love the digestive system. But just remember, if you love food, 
So this is the digestive system.